Hey guys, it's Ruth. I'm here with another History Mystery Monday. And today I'm talking to you about movie theaters in Chagrin Falls. And I wanted to talk about movies because this week the Film Fest is happening and it's so exciting. Did you buy your tickets yet? Please go online to the Chagrin Film Fest website and buy some tickets. Um, there's some great films. Um, but let's get into the History Mystery Monday. And a few weeks ago, someone asked about movie theaters in Chagrin Falls. John Borso started digging. Great John Borso. And he found six theaters. So I'm going to talk to you about those theaters today. And Chagrin Falls has always been a place with movies. Um, since the early 1900s when movies um, were gaining popularity. And the first motion picture theater in Chagrin Falls was in 1905. And this was located in the wooden frame building that was at the corner of River Street and Main Street, just south of Township Hall. And um, it's no longer there. Obviously, there's a brick building there now, but that was where the first theater was. The second theater in October 1907, um, they, the men who owned that theater sold it and the new operation was moved to the Peterson building which was part of the Phoenix block, which is where Starbucks is now. Okay, so that's your second theater. It's also been reported in the exponent that Charles Cole had a movie theater um, located on the other side of town um, where currently the nail spa is. And Charles Cole, where my picture of him go? It's right here. And he is the man who built um, a home on South Franklin Street in the 1870s, and that is now Murphy Funeral Home, okay? The fourth theater was on Pearl Street. Where's Pearl Street? West Washington. West Washington used to be called Pearl Street, okay? For those of you that don't know. And this theater was owned by a man named Frank Barber, and he was also the town marshal. And it's not clear exactly where this was located. Um, would have been near Lowe's TV, but the Lowe's TV building wasn't built until the 1920s. And before that, the building that was there was a blacksmith shop. So not quite sure where that one was exactly, but that's the fourth theater. The fifth theater, in March of 1910, Barber sold the theater company to Leslie Rood of Cleveland, and he named the company Falls Amusement Company. And in 1911 is when the high school started having their annual yearbook. And John found these two advertisements, one for Falls Theater, okay? And the other one for this gem moving picture show. But by the end of 1911, there were only advertisements for the Falls Amusement Company, okay? So we think this one must've went out of business or something. In 1915, the Rowan Giles Company um, built a new modern movie house on East Washington, the site of the Burnett livery and the former roller rink, where the Merle Lynch building is today. And that was the Falls Movie Theater. This is our sixth theater. Eventually, it was owned by the Soul Leather family. Uh, the Soul Leather family has donated a lot of objects and things to us from the movie theater, so we are very thankful for that. You can go onto the Chagrin Falls Alumni Association website and read articles that Mike um, Soleather wrote about his history with the Falls Theater, um, which is very cool. And in 1979, that theater was torn down. Uh, forgot my photos. There we go. That's, uh, I think, 1928. Okay. Here we go. There's another one. Another cool thing I found when I was searching um, for today um, was an oral history done from Robert Cathan, and Tom Mattern wrote this one up, and he's, Robert Cathan was from the class of 1933. This was done in 1997, and he says, the silent movies at the Falls Theater had a girl playing with the piano with the writing at the bottom of the screen. At the intermission, the owner would get a child from the audience and draw numbers to match the number on your ticket. Prizes include hams, 
bacon, sugar, live ducks and chickens, and many other items, usually groceries. Later, the Soleather family purchased the theater, and Mrs. Soleather was dear to us all with her candy shop. So that is the history of movie theaters in Chagrin Falls. We have a lot of objects, like I said, from the theater, from the Soul Leathers, and from other families in Chagrin who have donated things to us, like the movie theater seats, um, a ticket box, uh, and we have another chair from the Soul Leathers that they gave us, and a lot of photos, a lot of photographs. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you next week. I'm going to finish my popcorn, and don't forget to buy tickets to the Chagrin Documentary Film Fest this week. Thanks. Bye.